as an ancient healing art. In fact, in, back in 1700 BC, they, uh, they found oracle bones that dated back to that time in which um, the Twainamun massage was described as being used, being utilized to treat children's diseases and digestive complaints in adults. Um, and then a few uh, hundred years later, around 600 CE, Twainamun was included into the empirical Imperial Medical College as a separate department, had its own department. And uh, there were Chinese medicine doctors who actually specialized in this, this healing art. But around the Qing Dynasty, which was between 1644 to 1911 AD, um, uh, Chinese medicine in general was, was somewhat suppressed. Um, people were trying to adopt more Western ideology and um, acupuncture, herbal medicine, body work. Um, uh, Qigong were, were somewhat kind of suppressed, but it, made, it, it had its revival uh, sometime after 1949, and uh, acupuncture and herbal medicine became um, uh, mainstream again, and the university started to be developed, and then Tuena became again a specialized branch of traditional Chinese medicine. And again, you are finding um, traditional Chinese medicine practitioners who, who specialize in this medicine. They're the body workers of our, of our uh, medical system. Um, the methods basically encompass a broad range of massage techniques, um, ranging from light stroking to uh, deep tissue, heavy, deep work. Um, they can include uh, hand, both hand and arm techniques, and the main goal of this of this method system of method is to soften, uh, soften and, and um, achieve balance in soft tissue of the body, muscles, joints, ligaments, and create space between the joints, improve range of motion, um, improve circulation of blood and energy. Um, it, it, we do this through the stimulation of acup acupressure points sometimes. Uh, there are techniques in the massage system that just that just it requires just a consistent pressure on specific points, similar to if you've heard of shiatsu. Shiatsu mm -hmm. is derived from this particular emphasis of twena. Yes. So acupressure points, and again, these acupressure points are the same as the acupuncture points. And points don't have to be. Uh, they, they don't, or they're not limited to just specific points that have been identified and are on the charts and in the books. Any point that's tender and, and, and tight and, and uh, 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 needs some attention is considered a point to work on. And uh, we, as acupuncturists, we will stimulate that point. And as Twena practitioners, we also massage these points as well when one of a, a skilled practitioner can identify these points through palpation and the, the, the texture of the soft tissue changes, maybe you'll find you can find scar tissue or you can loosen that tissue and maybe you'll find blockage. There are some that are even that are even even more advanced than that and could, could find it could find energetic blockage, not even palpable but through mm -hmm. en energetic blockages. So um, yeah that goes very deep. And uh, in addition to active pressure points, uh, there's uh, various joint mobilization techniques like range of motion, opening up the range of motion. So uh, that, that's basically the three categories of techniques, hand and arm techniques to massage and soften, uh, stimulation of active pressure points, and joint mobilization.